This is a map of the North Pacific Ocean. In the western region, you'll find an archipelago that resembles a crescent shape, known as the Mariana Islands. The southernmost and largest of these islands is a U.S. territory called Guam, situated about 200 kilometers to the east of the Mariana Islands. Approximately 200 kilometers to the east of the Mariana Islands, you'll discover the Mariana Trench, the deepest point on our planet. Scientists have been captivated by this location due to the abundance of astonishing discoveries made here. In this video, we'll explore the new and chilling findings recently unveiled in the Mariana Trench. We're well aware that more than 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. However, what lies beneath these vast expanses of water remains a profound mystery to us humans. The Mariana Trench is one of these enigmatic places that has puzzled scientists with its extraordinary characteristics. Located in the Western Pacific Ocean, the Mariana Trench stands as the deepest oceanic trench on Earth's surface. It spans about 69 kilometers in width and extends for nearly 2,550 kilometers in length, which is more than five times the length of the Grand Canyon. The maximum known depth of the Mariana Trench is approximately 10,984 meters, although some measurements place its deepest point, also known as the Challenger Deep, at about 11,034 meters. To put this into perspective, if we were to place the world's tallest mountain, Mount Everest, into the trench at its deepest point, the mountain's peak would still be submerged underwater by at least two kilometers. The Challenger Deep lies roughly 322 kilometers west of the U.S. territory of Guam. This trench is part of a global network of deep troughs that traverse the ocean floor. These troughs are formed when two tectonic plates collide, with one plate subducting beneath the Earth's mantle at the point of collision, leading to the creation of an ocean trench. The Mariana Trench is primarily a U.S. protected zone, and is designated as the Mariana Trench Marine National Monument, established in 2009. Due to its immense depth, the trench remains shrouded in darkness, with temperatures just a few degrees above freezing. The water pressure at this depth is an astonishing 8 tons per square inch, which is about a thousand times greater than the atmospheric pressure at sea level. Exploration of the deepest point of the trench has been very limited, with the only manned expedition occurring nearly 50 years ago in 1960. Navy Lieutenant Jacques Picard and Don Walsh were the first and only individuals to reach this point, using a U.S. Navy submarine called the Trieste. It took them five hours to reach the Challenger Deep, and they spent only 20 minutes there. Unfortunately, they were unable to capture images due to the silt stirred up during their descent. Prior to these expeditions, scientists believed it was impossible for life to exist at such extreme depths and under immense pressures. However, Picard claimed to have observed a creature resembling a flatfish during their descent, dispelling doubts about life's existence in the deepest parts of the Mariana Trench. However, even today, scientists possess limited knowledge about the organisms and creatures inhabiting this abyss. The extreme pressures in the Mariana Trench make it impossible for the existence of calcium, which means the bones of any vertebrate down there would dissolve. Yet nature continually challenges science with its remarkable adaptability. In this harsh, acidic, cold, and dark environment, researchers have discovered approximately 200 known microorganisms and tiny life forms that have managed to thrive. These findings include various bacteria, crabs, sea cucumbers, peculiar octopuses, and even frightening fish species. Stay with us as we unveil some of the most unexpected discoveries from this trench and many other underwater locations. In recent years, deep ocean dredges and remotely operated submarines have provided hints about the presence of exotic organisms, including shrimp-like amphipods and enigmatic translucent creatures known as holothurians. Researchers and marine biologists believe that numerous new species are awaiting discovery in the mysterious depths of the world's oceans and seas. The remarkable shiny shrimp-like scavengers known as amphipods are intriguing because it remains a mystery how their shells can withstand the extreme pressures of the trench. One supergiant amphipod species, the Hirondelia gigas, measures about two inches in length. These creatures are considered giants when compared to their more common beach-dwelling relatives. Amphipods typically live in swarms and feed on various sources, including fallen organic matter, whale falls, plants, and even sunken wooden ships. Back in 2019, 
Japanese researchers unveiled that at least one species dwelling in the Mariana Trench utilizes aluminum extracted from seawater to reinforce its shell. In a 2012 expedition, scientists observed microbial mats in the Sirena Deep, which are clumps of microorganisms that feed on hydrogen and methane released as byproducts of chemical reactions between rocks and seawater. The Mariana Trench is home to a plethora of strange and downright terrifying species that will make you question your own eyes. One such creature is the sea devil anglerfish, and when seen up close, it lives up to its nickname, the Black Sea Devil. Its appearance is reminiscent of something emerging from the depths of the underworld. The sea devil anglerfish can be found at a staggering depth of about 975 meters below the surface. This fish possesses an array of bizarre features, including razor-sharp teeth, a grotesque body shape, and an eerie gaze. However, what makes it even more unsettling is its unique method of reproduction. The male anglerfish fuses with the female to reproduce. But the most unsettling aspect of this creature is the way it lures its prey. It has a specialized appendage on its forehead that resembles a fishing rod, complete with a glowing light at its tip, which attracts unsuspecting prey. The sea devil anglerfish is scheming to capture its prey. Once these unsuspecting animals draw near, the anglerfish's massive jaws swiftly envelop them. This remarkable fish is even capable of consuming creatures much larger than itself, proving that its appetite matches its size. However, the fearsome inhabitants of these immense depths are no longer around to recount their tales. Some, like the Megalodon, became extinct millions of years ago, and today, we can only find trace evidence suggesting their past presence in these waters. One such prehistoric creature no longer gracing our planet is the terrifying Liopleurodon. This carnivorous marine reptile roamed the waters of the Mariana Trench during the Colovian stage of the Middle Jurassic era. It reached a length of about nine feet, and according to scientists, it dominated the Pacific waters like a monarch. Researchers believe that the Liopleurodon thrived in the deep trench due to its capacity for long-distance swimming and its four limb-like paddles. While these colossal reptiles couldn't dart toward prey for a swift attack, they were able to increase their speed and ruthlessly strike unsuspecting animals. Their lengthy snouts primarily served the purpose of scenting out prey, indicating that they didn't heavily rely on vision while hunting especially in the trench's pitch-dark depths. Eventually, the Leopleurodon lost the competition to more adaptable species and went extinct approximately 150 million years ago. Increased competition for prey against other thriving reptiles dwelling in the ocean's depths contributed to its extinction. Considering the horrifying nature of this creature, it's a relief that it no longer roams the oceans. Just imagine encountering such a massive predator capable of devouring you within a matter of minutes. A slightly less intimidating resident of the trench is the Dumbo octopus. This deep-sea octopus earned its name from the beloved cartoon elephant Dumbo, featured in Disney's 1941 film of the same name. The octopus's small body, measuring up to 12 inches, sports floppy elephant-like ears that rest atop its head, along with large, round eyes, contributing to its endearing moniker. Dumbo octopuses, also known as umbrella octopuses, have arms interconnected by webbed skin, making them look like umbrellas when they spread their arms. They belong to the genus Grimpatuthus and prey on bivalves, worms, cope pods, and crustaceans. The species typically has a lifespan ranging from three to five years. Notably, it is the only Cyrat octopus species that lacks an ink sac, these deep-sea octopuses usually crawl on the seafloor using their webbed arms to navigate. However, some species of Grimpatuthis have been discovered to possess jet propulsion capabilities. These remarkable creatures can propel themselves through the ocean by flapping their floppy ears in the water. They are typically found at depths of at least 9,800 meters. The first specimen of this unique octopus wasn't observed until the 1990s when the first deep-sea submersible vessels were invented. The gelatinous body matter of the Dumbo octopus is the key to its survival under the extreme pressures of the Mariana Trench. In fact, the pressure at these depths is what holds its body together, and if brought to the surface, it wouldn't function properly. There's no denying the charm of the Dumbo octopus, but it's wise to keep a distance from it. 
Like many other residents of the Mariana Trench, it's a vicious predator capable of swallowing its prey whole in a single gulp. Another astounding yet exceptionally unusual inhabitant of the trench is the Xenophyophores. These creatures are single-celled but far from micro in size. In fact, they measure in inches, which is unusually large for a single-celled organism. Most unicellular creatures are typically invisible without a high-powered microscope, but not the Xenophyophores. A single cell of this organism is so enormous that you might even stumble upon it. You'd need around 100 billion human cells to fill the space inside a single cell of this organism. These single-celled, multinucleate creatures resemble giant amoebas and consume their prey by enveloping and absorbing their food. They have recently been classified as foraminifera, a type of heterotrophic protist. Xenophyophores are quite abundant in the deep sea, with local densities of up to 2,000 per square meter. Experts believe they play a significant role in the marine ecosystem, although very little is known about their specific contributions. These large organisms are not the only surprising finds in the deep sea. The Xenophyophores are just one example of gigantism among the creatures inhabiting the ocean's depths. There appears to be a pattern among species in such environments. Many of them are notably larger than their counterparts living in shallower waters. For instance, the giant isopod, closely resembling an ordinary pill bug, is substantially larger. While a pill bug can easily fit on the tip of your finger, the giant isopod reaches lengths of around one foot. Giant squids share several similarities with regular squids, and these two are indeed related. However, the giant squid is massive enough to have inspired numerous tales of terror. This significant contrast in size between organisms in the deep sea and those on isolated islands can be attributed to a unique phenomenon. Research by biologist Craig R. McLean in 2006 compared deep sea conditions to those on distant islands. The scarcity of resources in both environments has led to creatures evolving gigantism. In isolated island environments, organisms may develop larger bodies to endure periods of starvation more efficiently. Additionally, in areas with fewer predators, animals tend to grow larger than their counterparts in more threatened environments. It's fascinating how surface and shallow water organisms gradually made their way into the depths and expanded their bodies to extraordinary sizes over time. The depths of the oceans are undoubtedly teeming with incredibly large and frightening creatures, many of which remain undiscovered. In recent years, remote submersibles have uncovered more of the Mariana Trench's secrets. Among the most abundant inhabitants of this part of the ocean are holothurians, commonly known as sea cucumbers. It's probable that the creature Jacques Picard witnessed deep in the Mariana Trench was one of these stunning creatures. Sea cucumbers make up a significant portion of deep sea life and are renowned for their unique method of breathing through their anus. The three most common organisms inhabiting the Mariana Trench's depths include Xenophyophores, amphipods, and small sea cucumbers. Sea cucumbers belong to the class Holothuroidea and have leathery textured skin and soft, elongated bodies. They are known for expelling their guts as a defense mechanism and provide shelter for smaller organisms inside their bodies, similar to their shallow water relatives. Sea cucumbers play a crucial role in the marine ecosystem by cleaning up detritus and contributing to the habitat's tidiness. Among the top predators in the Mariana Trench is the seemingly vulnerable Mariana snailfish. However, its harmless appearance is deceiving. This unique creature, also known as the Mariana Hadal snailfish, is remarkably well adapted to the trench's extreme conditions. Scientists first collected specimens of this fish in 2017. Mariana snailfish inhabit depths of around 8,000 meters and have small, pale, pinkish bodies lacking scales, resembling tadpoles. They typically grow to be around 11.3 inches in length and weigh approximately 160 grams. Despite its unassuming appearance, this fish thrives in the challenging deep-sea environment of the Challenger Deep. A study published in the journal Zootaxa reveals that this seemingly insignificant fish dominates the deep-sea ecosystem by venturing deeper than any other fish in the ocean, taking advantage of the lack of many predators and competitors. This remarkable creature gobbles up the abundant, invertebrate prey residing at the bottom of the trench and thrives, despite being the underdog compared to shallow-water snailfish. 
It possesses several astonishing adaptations that enable it to navigate the dark, high-pressure waters of the Mariana Trench. The Mariana snailfish's skin lacks pigment and is almost transparent. Its organs and eggs are relatively enlarged, while its muscles are thinner and bone ossification, especially in the skull, remains incomplete. Additionally, it has very limited to no vision. It's truly astonishing how such a tiny, vulnerable fish can dominate such a challenging habitat. Regrettably, like many other natural wonders, human activity and its adverse impact have also reached the deepest point in the ocean. As we come to the end of this video, if you have any theories about the kinds of terrifying creatures you believe might be inhabiting the darkest recesses of the ocean floor, share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.